It gently does it. I can actually pry that up. I make a kind of a bridge out of the lava there. I need to pop a hole in the back, rip some of that lava out. Lift that up again. You see some of that lava pouring out the back there. And if we're lucky, actually, we might get a, a little lava tunnel to form in there. We don't always get that, but we do sometimes, so I'll come out and check on that in a little while, see if we manage to achieve one. And you're hearing those noises backstage there. <clears throat> That's Nathan topping up the furnace with the hardened lava from the previous show. And if you look on here as well, you can see these lovely ripples that are formed on the surface of the lava there. And there's a technical name for that. They call that ropey texture or ropey pahoihoi. And you'll find it anywhere where there's been fluid lava like this. And uh, as the lava is flowing, it cools obviously most rapidly on the surface. And so that starts to thicken. The hotter lava underneath just keeps on flowing and it drags the surface along behind it. And eventually then, when the surface does fully cool, those ripples get locked in place. And so you can see the direction that the lava was flowing in. And there's plenty of good examples of this all around Iceland, but one particularly good one I've seen is at Thingvetler National Park. There's a lookout point there over the park. And if you stand at the lookout point, on the ground beside you, there's bare rock. And on that bare rock, you can see these lovely big ropey strands of lava there. So that's your ropey texture, or ropey pahoihoi. Now, I'm starting to hear a little 